Welcome back. Welcome back to NXT. 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 And whoo, this NXT, especially the main event. Oh yeah, got me off of my seat. Oh, you think I got no chair? Only crybabies were uh, sitting chairs. <laughs> Ashley. Really? Well, you have to sit in the chair because you're taller than me, and basically. Well, I probably won't be in the freaking camera because I'll be tall. You're freakishly huge, you giraffe. But um, um, it first started off with the first semifinals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Mustache Mountain and the uh, Forgotten Sons. Yeah. They won't be forgotten tonight. Nope, because they won. They had a, a pretty amazing tag team match. It, oh, it was yeah. pretty really really well. Yeah, and you and you figured that the one guy was it the was was the guy Ra Riker? Right, right, Riker, Riker. Yeah. Will Riker. From Star Trek The Next Generation came in. <laughs> or he's... No. You know something I figured tonight? Some of the superstars look like clones of uh, WWE superstars. Like Riker, he looks like Elias. And if, and if it wasn't for him, Mustache Mountain would have won. But yeah. because of his interference, they won. Yeah, that's because. Three and two. Yeah, and the one guy from Mustache Mountain is dating Liv Morgan, you say. Well, that's what I said. I don't know if he still is or what. I thought that's what I heard. But, um, the Forgotten Sons won, of course. They did their tag team finisher. Oh, yeah. So. Have, oh, yeah. Which leads into a little promo thing. Yeah. Which you weren't there to see because you I, went to go get me some, uh, give me some snacks. But I remember. Yeah. It was Matt Riddle. And they were asking him, why did he show up to talk to, um, uh, Velveteen Dream? And he's like, I wanted to take a look at the title and see if it came in bro sizes. And then, um... Bro sizes, bra. Yeah. And then, uh... What is his name? Adam Cole. Yeah, Adam he Cole. He showed up and he's like it. saying, You don't deserve the title shot. And that's undisputed. And he's like, You want... And then Matt Riddle's like, Let's take this little discussion into the ring. So probably next week is going to be a uh, match. Yeah, it's probably going to be Matt Riddle versus... I'm cool, right? Yeah. And the winner, uh, get, uh, C, gets the title shot. But we know it's, uh, um, Adam Cole ain't coming out. Is coming out with Jack Crap. Yeah, of course. Then. And then it's a woman division. Yeah. We had, uh, Shayna Baszler sitting, at, uh, sitting in the announcer spot. And we have Ayo Shiari and Bianca Belair. For number one contender spot. That was a good match. Bianca Belair was like getting up in Io's face, like shoved her, used her hair and shoved her in the face. Yeah. Um, that match was really good. Until she, uh, Shayna Baszler was like, you know what, I'm done with this. She goes up and yanks Io Shirari out of the ring, which causes disqualification. Yeah. Then she goes and chokes out Bianca Belair. Then Kari Shane comes out. To try to help her fr uh, help her friend Io, she gets choked out. Then um, Io Shirari, uh, Shirari goes and uh, goes on the top rope and actually attacks um, Shayna. And then Shayna chokes out Io. Yeah, she's putting everybody to sleep. She's Samoa Joe. It's like the she's the Samoa. She's Joe. night. She's Nyquil for nighttime relief. She's putting <laughs> everyone to sleep. He had problems with sleep. Ask Samoa Joe and Shanna Baszler. Oh man, that would be a good funny little skit if they did funny skits for WWE. You just have you just see Samoa Joe just someone's got insomnia or a little kid has a nightmare has a night it can't go to sleep because of the boogeyman calls Samoa Joe and he just can't clutches in the sleep. <laughs> that 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 is that'd be funny. That's yeah. gold. WWE, put us on your um writing team. We'll come up with gold. Yeah, you never know. Um, and then, for the uh, when they interviewed um, Shayna, William Regal, because of what she did, it's now a fatal four-way. NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. Oh, yeah. And that's the night before WrestleMania. So, it's going to be Shanna Baszler, Ayo Shirari, Kari Shane, and Bianca Belair. Mm. Oof. See, I like Kari and Io. They should be the ones that should be... Um, Tag team champions. They probably will. 
<laughs> oh, yes. Talking about clones. Shayna Baszler looks like an evil clone of Bailey. Does she? She Do has just so? tattoos. All she needs is the ponytail on the side. That's it. She looks and sounds like her. You said it yourself. You're like, I've seen and I can't unsee. So when ba when Bailey went to WWE, did she put her heel side in NXT? She kind of sounds like Bailey too. So I already said that. But now. And now. Yeah, well, first um, it showed that uh, Keith Lee and Dominic, uh, Dijakovic, they're gonna have the match next week. So. Oh yeah. And now it's um. Our main event. The, Next semifinals, Alistair Black and Ricochet versus Hashtag DIY. And this is, this, this is, wow. Oh, this match. Yes. Yes. Let's see. It was going great. Both teams showing that they deserve to go through the match. Yep. Then, let's see. One point of the match. Johnny Gargano ends up putting uh, uh, Alistair Black into a submission. What was it? What's it called? Um, a submission? Uh, wait, what was it? Gargano Escape. The Gargano Escape. Then Ricochet tries to go in, and Ciampa puts it, uh, Ricochet in a submission hold. And it looks all is lost. It looks like they're both going to tap. Ricochet pulling all uh, the one and only strength that he has. Just lifts up Ciampa, and then actually slams onto Gargano. But it looks like it hit Gargano's knee. And then, during the match, he, Gargano had to tag um, Ciampa in, and Gargano's, like, <laughs> sitting outside the ring, looking like, and favoring the ring, looked like he uh, actually hurt himself. Yeah. So it's just Ciampa against everybody. Ciampa gets black masked right in the face. And then uh, Ricochet does his, um, his finishing move from the top rope. And now, for, to the semifinals, goes... Alistair Black and Ricochet. So in two weeks, yep, in two we're gonna we're gonna have the Forgotten Sons versus whatever Black and Ricochet are called. Yeah, I don't think they have team names. I think it's just Alistair Black and Ricochet. But a little right after the right after the match, and then you got Candice LeRae coming out. She's checking on she's checking on Gargano, and then um, Champa uh, puts down the title and actually helps Gargano to his feet all the way up the ramp. And lo and behold, we see Ciampa's true face. He was going to fucking attack. He was going to go and attack Gargano. He uh, grabbed him by the head and nope. Gargano puts his injured leg down. And we yeah. find out, nope. He was faking it the whole time. Because he was planning it from the beginning when they started off as tag team. He planned it. He planned it. Then yep. he, re he reverses it and throws Ciampa into the LED lights. Yep. And Candace all smiling. The the puppet master has been played. Yep, so it's probably going to be Ciampa versus, Ciampa versus Johnny Gargano for that title at TakeOver, I bet you. Oh, ooh, that, that is good. That's good. That's a flip I on mean, the script. I would want to see Gargano win. I kind of like Gargano. So. Yeah. Like Missy would say, she doesn't want to see Mr. Chompa making love to that. Yeah, she'd be like, would Gargano she'd, even want it? Yeah, like Miss, how Missy says, he probably... Missy would be like, Miss, make love with his belt. No, no, don't let make love with his belt. He, he, he ain't going to lose it. Oh, it was so good. So good. So good. But yes. that was good how he planned it. He played him. This is why NXT is so much better than Raw and SmackDown. They actually pull off the stuff. You have so many super, uh, so little superstars in so little time. You can actually have time to come up with the writing and stuff. Whereas WWE, you got so many eggs in one basket, but it's like you completely forget about the underdogs. But yeah, that that this this week of NXT, I would say, is amazing. Oh yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So. And Sm and uh, WrestleMania is how many weeks away? It's in April, beginning of April, so probably like. Um, yeah, April fourth, right? Um, let's see. Let's see. WrestleMania is April fourth, right? And it's a Sunday, April fourth, so Thursday. So, uh, so it's the seventh. So NXT takeovers. Is the six? April sixth is the takeover. Oh yeah. 
Ooh, so good. Everybody on NXT is doing so good. It's actually, literally, this is one of the times that actually gets me off my feet and actually gets me entertained. And that's the best thing about wrestling. It's supposed to entertain you, not bore you. Yeah. So, what did you feel of NXT? Did you enjoy it? I sure as hell did. I know, um, <laughs> yeah. I know uh, War Raiders are definitely going to watch that finals match. See who they're going to get. You know I'm going to watch Viking Team Vikings. Hell yeah, I'm watching that. Yeah, so make sure you like. Comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.